Hi fellow traders and investors, this is Joe Grinder from InvestorsHelp.net. I just returned, in fact my wife and I just returned from a long weekend in beautiful Seattle. It was just tremendous weather up there. We did have a few showers, but the air was crisp and so clean and fresh. And we had a great time with the grandkids and also with our son and daughter-in-law and we really appreciated the time that we had with them. Recently I received some requests to do more videos on day trading so I think I'm going to call this something like profiting from a dead cat bounce and I'll probably make it in uh, three uh, videos and I hope to keep them sort of short because I know everyone's busy. So today I was looking at this big sell-off and you know we've been in a down market I have the spy up here we're looking at a one-hour chart and as you can see here our price action is under my moving averages it's not real important what these moving averages I usually use the 200 150 and 20 in this case uh, this one is the 8 this one is the, I should have all this memorized for you guys. Uh, this is the 21. This is, I believe, the 50. Let's see. Oh, 34. I'm using John Carter's. And this, let's see if this is the 50. There it is, the 50. Okay. So, 8. 21, 34, and 50. Like I mentioned, and this is going to be hard for many of you to believe, the actual number is not as important as what's going on with price in relationship to your moving averages. And as you become more experienced, you'll understand what I mean. So the first thing when looking at this channel, I thought, wow, you know, price especially these red candles are getting pretty far away from my moving averages and uh, these are exponential moving averages I know some of you more advanced people are going to ask well these are these simple are these displaced or these move uh, exponential or what these are exponential moving averages but once again it doesn't make a whole lot of difference thought okay price is really getting extreme earlier this morning as I was trying to do other things I, I did take a quick look at the chart and I said well how can I make some bucks today just a few hundred bucks would be fine since I'm busy on other things it's always nice to pick up a few hundred dollars here and there without a whole lot of work and so I thought this is really extreme today so let's see what we can do so the first thing I thought let's draw a channel on this one hour chart and we're on the thinkorswim platform as you probably should know or do know we draw the first trend line and of course it disappeared and I'm not sure why that's happening today I guess I'm talking too much and not drawing fast enough so let's come on down here further there's a top trend line and we just draw this and we're finding a point right about here so we do have our trend line and as you can see came down to the bottom this is where we drew the trend line went up to the top of the trend line of the channel and then it came back and it really broke out of our channel and went down to an extreme low when I saw this I thought well that's an extreme so let's see what we can do to do some further analysis on this so what I did I then went to a five minute chart from a one hour chart to a five minute chart and you can more clearly see the channel what I'm interested in is this situation here so let's enlarge it I'm clicking on the plus button which you cannot see this morning I was looking at this and I was wondering is this going to be the low of the day so what I did I drew a a price level right there at approximately the bottom of that so I was looking for 183.67 to be broken or to see if it would be supported 
And you know, right around here, I thought, wow, maybe we're going to get a reversal. Nope, it rolled over again. Went up, couldn't get through this moving average. Rolled down again, and then it came down to the channel. Thought, well, maybe it's going to bounce up off the channel. It did, but quickly rolled over, and this is what is a climax, a climax sell-off. So when I saw that, I thought, well, we are at an extreme low, so it's time to make some money on this climatic sell-off. And some people call that a dead cat bounce. It just goes down, down, down. And what we're looking to do is just to make a few bucks off of the bounce. We don't know how far up it's going to go, but we want to see about making some money off of that dead cat bounce. So while we're at it, I'm going to go to the retracement line, the retracement tool. You can see here it's called Fibonacci retracements. I like to use that to get a perspective on how far now could this low bounce up before it rolls over. So what I do, I take the high for today. I could take this one, but this is pre-market. I want the high for today, which is in fact a little double top here on these. I click and I draw to the low of the day which is down here at 180.192, 181.92. We'll get just close because I don't want to take a lot of time. Okay, they're within a penny. Now normally, price from a low here will normally bounce up to between the 38.2 to the 61.8 and then roll over again. Now, of course, looking ahead, it did break out, it came back, and then it's going again. So a lot of traders out there know that this is an extreme sell-off and we're going to get a good bounce, maybe even more. Now what we could do, if you want to check it, let's remove this one by remove the drawing and let's instead, let's go up here to the high that occurred. In fact, it's a, a double top there, although we could even use this one. We want to try this one. And let's draw from that high all the way to the low for today, the pre-market high to the low. And here's the area where we could get some support. You're seeing, in fact, right now that price is so strong, it's even, even trying now to bounce out of this this target area between the 32.8 and the 61.8 Fibonacci. It'll be interesting to see if it really can move up some more, but I would anticipate that we're, we're going to get some sort of pullback. But who knows? So that gives you an idea of how we determine that this is an oversold situation. The red lines here are our channel it broke out of our price channel to, to an extreme low. We then drew in a couple of retracements. We first drew the retracement from the high during the trading day to the low during the trading day, and we saw that already bounced out. So we went back then to the high of the pre-market before the market opened to the low of the day. And we drew, redrew our target area for the bounce. And as you can see, it's having a little trouble getting through this 61.8. Like I say, I wouldn't doubt if it now comes back or retraces. Although, you know, it is extremely oversold. The, uh, the traders can take it and run it up some more. So, I want to end this piece of the uh, the video and part two. Oh, look at this. It is breaking out. Uh, on part two, I'm going to show you a scalp trade that I did earlier today. And now, of course, looking at this strong price retracement, I sit here kicking myself for not staying in. But that always happens. You know, if you get out too soon, you kick yourself for getting out too soon. If you stay 
in too long and price reverses on you, then you kick yourself for staying in too long. So the important thing is to take your profits uh, based on your plan and then analyze it to determine perhaps what you could or should have done differently uh, in the trade. But the important thing is that we do have profits uh, very quickly from trading this morning. So how about going to video number two?